Actually, every snake I showed you was a world's only. Okay, so lockdown's got me taking closer looks at some crazy snakes. You guys are always asking about how these sneeze. Everything in this bucket is a reticulated python. Do you think there's really snakes here? But check this out. Look at the difference in colors. Man, we have all this extra time. Look at the detail on this snake. It's actually a Mochino uh, genetic stripe, and it's absolutely beautiful. And look at the, take a look at this thing. Look at the pattern and the color. It's just incredible, and it's sunfire too. See the pattern down here? That means it's sunfire. So this snake has all kinds of different genes in it. I, I'm not even sure if I got them all, but you know what? Look at this, check this out. Then you got pides, and pides are cool anyway, but this one's a golden child, platinum pied, and look at the separations of colors. Is that beautiful or is it just me? Look at the eyes, black eyeballs, literally almost orange yellow spots with the gray outlines just absolutely incredible so it is kind of cool to have a little extra time but man i don't know i wish i still had all you guys coming and visiting the zoo so now look at this all remember all these snakes are the same kind of snakes and none of the snakes i've showed you so far have ever been found in the wild because in the wild they would be normal color and the normal colored pattern is completely different so this one here is even more different this is a titanium and a, uh, what do you call it, Tim? It's a sun tiger jaguar. A, so it's a jaguar, titanium, and uh, it's actually a sunfire. So it's got all kinds of genes to make it look like this. So, you know, obviously it's not man-made because we have to have the original animals to start with, right? But it is a man-made morph because it never occurs in the wild. So check this out. Now this is one of our, this is actually one of my new favorites in the respects of what it's gonna do in the future. I don't know how good the color will show, but it's almost red. It's kind of red brick color, kind of, kind of a burgundy red on its back. This is actually a sunfire and a platinum and a super tiger and an anthrax and a motley and a genetic stripe, all in one snake. So this is literally talking about a snake that will probably, well, will never exist in the wild because we're not gonna let one go. But man, this is a snake that took literally half of a continent to make because some of the snakes came from one place, one town, one city, one area in Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. I don't even know all the genetics that it took to make this in the respects of where they all came from. But all those names are the names of the morph, the individual genes that went in it. So look at this one. This is beautiful too. Not even positive what this snake is, but we like to think it's an, it's a, it's don't worry, Tim's freaking out. He thinks the snake's missing. <laughs> because it's a five, we're gonna do five cool snakes. And so this is number, this is technically number five, but we have a bonus one on this one. And we have a bonus one on another one. So this snake's beautiful. We're not even positive what it is. We just know roughly what it is. It's either an orange ghost stripe golden child that had a pattern in it, which we don't understand, it's sunfire and it split the pattern, uh, just an oddball. We're not even positive what it is, but it definitely, definitely had orange ghost stripe. Definitely, probably a golden child. Would think it was a motley, but it's impossible because it looks like a motley. It looks like what we expect a motley albino uh, orange ghost stripe would look like, but it's not. So we don't know what it is exactly, but we know for sure it's carrying all the genes to make some really cool snakes. And if you're following these, these cool videos with all the different kinds of snakes, which we got a few of them, you're gonna see its sibling and you're gonna see what we make in the future because this is gonna, these are all modern, that last snake I showed you, actually every snake I showed you was the world's only. <laughs> no, not the pie. So anyway, to give you an idea, and just while we're talking about world's only, this is a world's weirdo. So this is a Mochino, no-eyed, reticulated python, is this a genetic stripe, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, genetic stripe Mochino with no eyeballs. Now that is not normal. It's just a random thing that happens. We've seen it in ball pythons. We've seen it all these different ways in different snakes. As a matter of fact, Burmese, ball pythons. Uh, we, even have, we even have a sand bow that has no eyes. The only thing they have in common is they're living animals and they're a mutation. The mutation is just random and it doesn't have anything to do with inbreeding because Almost in every case, we're, they're in majorly outbred animals. 
that actually have, if anything, more diversity than anything you'd ever find in the wild because, like I said, this stuff comes from literally different areas all over the world and always Southeast Asia because that's where we ticks come from. Keep in mind, all these things get up to 20 feet. Who wants to see the a morph video with five of our biggest snakes? I think it maybe might be the five biggest ones on Earth, except I do know where a bigger one is that we actually going to talk about later when we debut it in another country. Anyway, living the dream, guys. Hope you're having a great day. I'm going to get the next five ready for a cool video. Hope to see you there. Peace out.